Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This is a follow up to the video I recently did on setting up your inventory for the first time in QuickBooks. You might have a situation where you have many products, designs, sizes, colors, and you have to figure out how to bring that all together into concise descriptions so that you can list things properly. This is good for internal purposes. It's important for invoicing purposes so that you can pull things up easily and track the inventories separately for all the different combinations. It's also important when you're selling to your customers so that you can describe for them exactly how this thing is sold. So the first tab here is your products tab and you're going to list just the generic products. So if you sell t-shirts, just put t-shirts and assign a product number. You can come up with any numbering convention you want. You want to think in terms of how many different products am I going to be selling in the long run and think in terms of putting in enough digits for that so that it all fits. So if you don't think you're ever going to be selling more than a hundred products, then a three digit product number is sufficient. If you think it's going to go into the thousands, use four digits and so on, you get the point. So list all your products here. If you need to, you can insert lines by simply going anywhere in the gray and clicking insert in your Excel tab. But of course, make sure you've got the whole entire row highlighted before you click insert. Once you're done though, delete the extra lines because this is going to uh, come into play uh, later on when you're picking from a list of things to uh, you know add to. Once you're done, click Next. And same thing, now you're going to choose your patterns. You're going to have your designs. So your designs, you might have different patterns. So if you're selling t-shirts, you have different patterns that go on these t-shirts. This is how you group all the t-shirts with a particular pattern. So create that list. Once you're done, again, you can either insert or delete lines as you need to, but leave only a couple of spaces, or, or at the most one space, once you're done and you'll see why because there's going to be a drop down that populates from here so you don't want extra blank spaces if you want you can make sure you always leave one blank space so that you can if you want go back and insert more lines to add more products click next now we have our sizes so you're going to list every different size this thing comes in now let's say you're selling coffee mugs so there's really only one size just put one size but list you have to list something the way this works so make sure you list one size uh, it'll be obvious but also so it's clear it, potentially i could be wondering if you sell more than one size coffee mug so but every every component has to be included here is is the major point here click next to go to color and here you're going to list all the different colors that it comes in so the same principle applies in terms of adding and deleting lines insert lines to add delete lines when you're done leave always at least one blank line and that's important because it affects the drop downs which are going to come into play here when you're building your master product list and that's how this works once you're in your product list you're going to choose from the drop down now i've only listed one product here so i'm going to choose that t-shirts come over to design I'm going to choose my design I've only got one so far pattern one I come in and choose my size so I want to list it in each size right so I've got small and then I want to list which colors I've got so let's say I've got blue for now then what I can do to do this very quickly is come in here I've got t-shirts pattern one in every size so I've got small then I've got large extra large double extra large and triple extra large. This one I don't need. And let's say they're all in blue. Now you can see what this does. It builds the product number for me, but that's why it has to have every component because if a single component is missing, it doesn't work. And I did that on purpose because it forces you to make sure you've got everything included. Now I can resize these columns to fit it all. But now what I can do is take this uh, product list and use that to populate my form when I'm getting ready to set up my inventory in QuickBooks. So when I go over to that form, I can take these products, copy it, come over here, and I can just paste my values. So now I've got my product list in here. And now I'm ready to get the rest of it set up. You know, these are going to be sub items of t-shirts 
and all my accounts. So that goes back to the previous video that I did on how to get your inventory set up in QuickBooks. So if you're interested in getting this template, uh, look for the link. I'm going to give you the link or the Buy Now button so you can purchase and download this template right away and get started building your inventory in QuickBooks. This is a huge time saver. It's going to save you a ton of time in terms of creating and building your product numbers. This spreadsheet will do a lot of the work for you. As I always suggest with any template of mine that you download, make sure when you download it, save a copy so that if you do have, I'm not going to protect it, so if you do happen to overwrite the formula here, you can always go back to the original and restore it. Of course, you can email me if something happens and I'm happy to resend it to you, but that may take time. This way you have a backup, so make sure that you do that. As always, if you have any questions, email me, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com, and I'm also available for hire to customize this further so that it's more specific to your needs. So if you have that interest, contact me for that as well. Again, it's Seth at NerdEnterprises.com or 866-945-8070. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web. As always, if you'd like additional training on this or any other topic you see me cover, feel free to give me a call, 866-945-8070.